Do you want to know me? Of course, yes. Everyone would like to associate themselves with anyone hot when we're enjoying life. You can call me Aid Ben Aidbekan when you tell me. I am the only son of my father. My father was murdered in cold blood. A faithful, loyal, respectful, and hardworking man who has value for his family, yet murdered by his own wife. If you were in my shoe, would you love a woman, hate her, treat her, oppress her, or love her? The answer will shock you. Welcome, Mr. Sweets. Shall we begin? Oh my God. This is an angel from heaven. A torch of beauty is accelerated onto her. She, she looks like a mermaid who has not fed the oddness of the sound in a bit. Wait, Mr. Sweet. You just want to sit here and watch Honeybee slip off your tongue? Come on now. Make a move and grab the chance. Wow. She's even smiling at me. The sweetest of them all. I really wish I would have you over and over again. I promise, I won't get tired of you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> and secondly, you took me off balance. Ah. Oh, yeah. Really? Of course. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let me just. <laughs> okay. Do you know when you walked close to me, mm -hmm. your eyes penetrated into my forehead like a nail? And there was no way I could escape that trap. <laughs> Wait, should I blush now? <laughs> okay, let's say I find it also difficult to penetrate through your throat anyway, but I always have my chances. Wait a minute. Are you trying to paint a picture of calling me a cheap lady? I'm really sorry, okay? You don't retention. The fact that I had a nice tongue with you doesn't make you cheap. Okay. Let's say lower for sight. That would be a perfect word for it. Where are you going to? Home. 
to have a good time with my boyfriend. She just said it now that it's love at first sight, right? Lord, I will apologize about that. No detention for me. No detention. Please, please. Do you really have to go? Please, stay. Please. I love that. Sweet girl. Doing down here? Why are you ripping the game? Oh, you're in space. Why are you to the game? Oh, oh, no. Don't even try to touch our game. You witch. What? Listen, Listen let me play. Game. Did you just call me a witch? Are you not a witch? Are you not a witch? Do you think being a that girlfriend makes you a mother? Now, I want you to know something. Get this into your school. You will never. And can never get married to our father. Never. You know this which has spoiled our which has spoiled our, our night. Let's carry this. That my game. I'm not canceling. Let's carry. I'm not canceling the game. Let's. But I'm not canceling it. Let's carry it through. I 
treating me like a slave in this house. Stop! Listen! Come close! Stop! I said come here! See, by the time I'm done with you, see, listen, if you ever come my words in this house again, that will be the end of you! <laughs> No sense. So, you hit her? Of course I did. I will hit her over and over again. No woman has ever talked back at me. When I talk, she should listen. Mr. Sweet, you really need to learn how to calm your nerves. Don't tell me to calm down! Mr. Sweet, you really need to work on your anger. You don't have to allow anger rule you. Anger doesn't have to take the better part of you. You need to work on your anger. Why are you absent-minded? Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. You know, something just captured my attention. So tell me, how are you? I should be the one asking, how are you? Are you sure you are fine? Well, I see no reason I should be talking to you and you are just so absent-minded. I'm fine, okay? So don't mind me, okay? Just tell me what's up, like. <laughs> well, that's by the way. Um, Nancy called. She sent her regards. Oh, really? <laughs> so what did you guys talk about? Just me. <laughs> Not much. Just call. Staring at me. Mm. I nearly lost focus and attention. Uh -huh. <laughs> attention here. <yeah. laughs> wow. Well, that reminds me of how I met my fiance. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Do you want to hear? Tell me more. So like I'm a boy. <laughs> well, <clears throat> on that fateful day. Mm -hmm. I was exhausted, mm -hmm. so I decided to go and um... Very fun. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> what was really nice that you really enjoyed it? You don't even know what we're talking about. You seem lost. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm very okay. I'm fine. 
Ha. Oh, yeah. let's continue my gist. An important guest. My guest was as good as predicted. So tell me, who is that important visitor we are expecting? Mm, none you know of, but just sit down and relax, okay? You'll be here soon. <laughs> I've never seen you this happy and prepared. Why? You barely know this man. Well, Mr. Sweet is not a stranger. What's his name again? That name sounds familiar. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. What's your problem? Okay. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? Serious. First of all. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. What happened? Why did you slam the door that way? I thought you were expecting someone very important. But you know I won't do that. I, I don't know what is wrong with um, since her son. Can someone have peace in this house again? That's the advantage of staying in an estate. If, if I get that boy here, he will not like me. Ah, what's, what is this? What's your problem? What do you even want from us? Sister, you know we're like sisters. 
Her name is Zara. Zara, please meet Mr. Sweet. My name is Mr. Sweet Taibe. I feed from the sweetness of honey. And anyone who come across me and just such benevolence. It's my pleasure to meet with you. Mrs. Sweet, you're welcome. Hey, sweetheart. I love your dress. And your lipstick. I'm fine. I'm cool. I want to speak to you soon. Jessica. Oh my god. Who eats Eba in the morning? Didn't you see bread and tea to make for us in the morning? Just shut up. At least compliment on our effort. What is it? And she's not taking time to save. Save the food now. Huh? Save the food because we have no other food. more from the both of you. I will hit you like you never seen before. Right. I said shut up. She is right. She told you whole bottle of sauce inside the soup. And how do you expect us to eat it? Besides, she is not our mother. You know, guys are not even married yet. She can never be our mother. Jessica. Jenny. Hmm? A word from any of you. I will beat the hell out of you. I'm with you. If you both move a niche. I will stop deal with you. I don't care if you not forget it in a hurry. I said sit down. No, have your feet. I cannot have peace in my own house. In this house, I wake up in the morning. I, I eat with the thing where I'm standing in the middle of a sea. No decision to make. And since you both want to frustrate me, all of you, put together. Have your feet. The next time I call your name twice, you lose your talk. Come on, open the gate.
Peaceful dialogue. Please. Calm down. Okay, go straight to the point. Oh! <laughs> You're watching a movie. Uh, what is it about? <laughs> I don't understand. I thought you said you are yet to discuss with us. So what's with the questioning of the thing? Can you please go straight to the point? You can't just learn to mind your business and, and know your boundaries in this house, Abby. Well, you see girls, like I said, I want us to have a peaceful dialogue. I'm tired of the constant fights and quarrels in this house. I know I'm not your biological mother, but believe me when I say I love you as much as I would love my own child. Please, let's, let's live in peace and harmony in this house. That, that's what I want. Second of all, I know I'm not your biological mother. You can't even be our biological mother. You can't even be our mother. Don't you get? Yes. You are not our mother. And I want you to stay away from the affair of my sister and I in this house. Know your boundary in this house, please. Please. And I heard you said you're here to meet this. Do we look like someone that is that wants to make peace with you? Do we? Why are you what? girls being difficult? What have I done that can't be forgiven? Why can't we have a decent conversation for once? Why? As long as we know in this house, we have nothing to do with you. You're just a stranger. And you should you should just go. You should just leave our house. Leave us now, please. <sighs> Jessica. Hey, I don't do for the for the backyard, so I don't do for the backyard, so I don't do for the backyard, madam. Madam, are you okay? I mean, have you lost it? Are you insane? Yes, madam. Ah. <laughs> it's obviously lost it. I mean, you've lost it. You've lost your sanity. Yes, now take this. Go to the supermarket. Buy me sanitary pad. Mm -hmm. I said you should go to the supermarket and buy me a sanitary pad. But then this is now this is now computer now. I never know what as a well money uh money Listen, you have thirty minutes. Madam. Madam. Oh, 
them. What are, this is the spirit, this is the competition. I never ever, uh, what is our monetary ceremony? What is, what is As if you saw a ghost. But I never be I don't see. But then the competition where well big madam don't come put on for this morning. Big madam, that's my mother, I'll be my mama. Big mother, don't compete me this morning, madam. Big madam. Oh, do you mean Auntie Nancy? Yeah, what? what did she tell you? She don't call him for in the morning, say, hey, the moon. I don't say madam. He said, hey, the moon, he said, madam, he said, come. He don't ask and say, where. Where are you? I don't tell and say I never know where are me. I go tell and say take a two thousand naira. Go to supermarket. Go and buy me sanitary sanitary pad. Manager sanitary sanitation sanitary pad. <laughs> She meant you should go get her sanitary pad. You don't know what sanitary pad means? Okay, it's what women use whenever they're on their period. And for the other one, she was just trying to ask you where you've been day. Where have you been? That was what she was trying to say. <laughs> say, Allah. Someone went down. Well, lie. Your papa, the money I don't put them for school for your school, you know, it's not a mess. You know they miss him. <laughs> well, let's let's see what they're doing. Hey, it's funny. You're really funny. See what they're doing. Hey, really funny. See what they're doing. So we turn up. See what they're doing. Listen guys, there is something that is missing here. Some of us are busy chasing titles when we're supposed to be doing the needful. And what is at least the needful, Mr. Needful? <laughs> Mr. Sweet. Since this is your guys, I will speak English with a confused person where we <laughs> If I may ask, what is the needful you are talking about? Well, I was just stating an example. But there is no need beating around the bush. Let's focus on what brought us here. Mr. Sweet, what's actually troubling you? You guys have been my friend for a very long time. I really don't know how to describe this whole thing. One minute is my fiance. And another minute, my daughters. I don't understand. The matter don't choke me. Mr. Sweet, what really is the problem? Like, what's going on? What's the happen? For your wife that I know too well, will not start up any issues unless something is wrong. Wait, 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 and I don't trust you. I don't understand. Well, Mr. Sweet, Eric is right. There is no way water can go through the tap without you drilling the ground. This whole thing boils down to unfaithfulness. I mean, the woman in your life that we know so well deserves better than the ill treatment she's getting from you. Death. Since when did you become an advisor? Oh, oh. Because I oh, don't oh, remember oh. employing this guy to oh, advise oh, oh. me. Chew. Mr. Sweet. Chew. Chew. I know you. Chew. Mr. Sweet. Chew. Please, just chew. The thing is, Jeff is actually right, but he didn't put his word constructively. Rather destructively. 
Listen, Mr. Sweet. You've gone beyond colleagues, bosses, and workers, right? So we are friends. Please, if there's anything happening, going on, bothering you, Eric, tell, Eric, 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 listen, Eric. listen, Mr. Sweet. You have all it takes to maintain a good and happy home. What is happening? Talk to us. We are your friends. In order not to have to the bad scenario I've had today, I will advise you guys not to interfere in my relationship. Let us focus on what brought us here. So, when is the project kicking off? Yeah, next week, Tuesday. Arguing that. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going for this? Yeah, this would be a perfect motion here. Okay. Yeah. I think. Okay. <laughs> no one is arguing. So this is fine. Okay. I'm just going to call the retailer now. But I think this will be, this is, they will be sent from Turkey. Wow. Because, yes. So you have their contact. Is it a direct order? Of course, of course. Daddy! Daddy, we want to discuss something with you. Like, no. Yes, no. No. Why not later, please? I can meet you up here. Dad, this is very, very urgent. I yeah, want to tell you, but the problem now is that we don't want any stranger to hear it all. And who is the stranger here, Femias? You better stop that nonsense you're saying from your mouth. Let today be the first and last you refer to my girlfriend as a stranger. She may be a stranger to you, but not to me. Dad, you shut You better get inside! Because of a stranger, Daddy! I said. Leave! All these strangers. Will you get out of this place? Idiot! <laughs> Look at these children! I'm sure they will come around. No, it's, it seems. No, if they take this character out there, it will look as if me as a father, I'm not training them well in my own house! Can you calm down? Feel... Baby, it's okay. Just, just... It's, they want to frustrate me. Baby, calm down. I'm sure they will come around soon. Okay? Come here. Hey, Sir, okay? Uh, Adamu? What is it? Hey, what a netting, okay? Why did you have to run into my sitting room like a mad dog? Nah, I don't know for the sound. So, um, I can't think say for security, security purposes, say, because of the noise for us, I can't think say when we trailer, don't jam me. I'm going to tell you down. Did you hear what the security man said? You are a security man. You want to be sure if there's security in this house. Yeah. And you run from the gate to my sitting room. Yes, you Just, just calm down, okay? I understand. Adamu! Yes, you okay. uh, Adamu, you know what? Just leave, okay? That's fine, just go. Oh. Adamu? Come. Do you need a tutorial yes, for you to know Where's your bundle in this house? Yes, you are. Adam? Yeah. Before I close my eyes and open it, I want it to disappear. Adam! I think get out of this place! Get out of here! What is wrong with this idiot? I'm not 
done with one yet? Yet another one is happening. What is it? Do you want to frustrate me? My kids almost succeeded to ruin my time with you. And now this security man from the north. Babe, I understand his reasons. They will not succeed, my love. Okay, so show me the stuff. Are you calm now? I'm calm, I promise. Sure. Decided to mute my calls. Jack, what are you doing here? What? Oh, I see. So this is him, right? This is him. This is him. This, this is, is the, who? This is the man you've been fooling yourself with. That's not that. Are you mad? Come on, tell doctor. Tell that. Are you mad, doctor? Are you mad? Are you mad? It's your. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, you go out, you me that no, you no, 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 Embarrassment was that. The other day it was Jenny and a useless boyfriend. If you guys even want to have a friend, a boyfriend, must it be a riffraff? That was the height of it all. What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? You should ask there. Uh, Jessica, Jenny, what is it? What happened? They embarrass me before their boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yes! What? Jessica? Jennifer? Really? That, that, sh 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 Will you sh shut, shut up? Jenny, you should stay stranger. Oh. I said, come back here! I am your father. If you must do anything, you must ask yourself this question. How would my father feel? Maybe this question will help you to be of good manner when you are out there. You need to save your story now. You must, you must have to tell, 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 tell his name. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Yes, yes. <clears throat> Have you heard about 
Sarah having a baby for a strange guy. How did you get to know that I had a child? I don't know. No. There's this female flying around the neighborhood that she has a child for a strange guy. Some people said, I think, yes, that they have secret marriage or so. Yeah. Wow. That was an interesting story. Oh. Interesting yeah. story, you say. So, what if you find yourself in such situation? How would you handle it? Well, as for me, I will just let go. The deal has been done. We we'll have to deal with it decisively. And, um, probably, for me, I, I believe nothing like that will ever happen to me. Man, man, man. So full of surprises. <laughs> so, baby. <laughs> yes, baby back. Miss you. <laughs> So, where are you thinking me to? I think you had Olandia yeah, you got, you have right? Yeah, okay. okay. For her, for her life. Have a life. I know you very well. You know me too <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, that's all. No, all right. yeah, yes. that's all. Thank you all very right. much, okay. <laughs>
Mr. Sweet has compelled me into doing things I do not desire. He has pushed me to the wall. Even his daughters that I took as my own daughters do not respect me. They insult me at will and he says nothing wrong with it. I, my fiancé has objected me to the kitchen. He has restricted me from touching, going to so many places. I can't even do anything. Jeff, I'm tired. I, I want out. There is no more love in this yeah, relationship. Yeah, no, 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 I can't no, no. do this anymore. See, listen, Nancy, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. I don't know where to start from. I'm speechless right now. I don't know why my friend would choose to treat someone like you, a good woman like you, in this manner. Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'll talk to him myself. I'll, I'll see him later. I'll talk to him. Please don't do anything stupid to yourself. Please. Just try to be fine. I'll speak with him very soon. Okay? Please. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then don't forget, I can't tell her I'm the Chris. Madam? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Madam? Hey, well, I'm sorry. Wait. Hey, Allah. Madam? What's the problem? We're sitting there moping all day. What is it? Jeff, thank God you are here. Thank God. What's the problem? I don't know. Your man has refused to say anything. He's just been there moping. I don't know what the problem is. I think I know what the problem is. Oh, you do? Please, do tell. I'm all ears. You see, Mr. Sweet here is not just wicked, but also heartless. Are you mad? Jeff! Have you lost it? Have you forgotten I'm your boss? No! Have you forgotten so why you lost your job and I saved your ass? Chill. Chill. Dude, calm down. What is it? We can't resolve this Fuckers, this way. Talk to me, guy. What is it? What's the problem? So on my way here from my, um, my, 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 my place, I, I, I drove out of the estate and met Nancy, Mr. Sweet's woman, under the rain. 
In fact, that, that, that's the reason I had to change before getting here. abandoned me in the e tree because I told him the truth. He abandoned you? <laughs> what truth are you talking about? <sighs> See, calm down and talk to me. Talk to me. We went out to have a good time. Okay. Everything was going on well when suddenly a strange lady walked in. And Mr. Sweet diverted his, his attention from me to her and, and when I tried calling back his attention telling him the wrong he was doing he he disgraced me and drove off the uh, out of the out of the atrium abandoning me there. well I, 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 I don't know how best to put it but listen if you have a woman like that in your house as a man you should have, you should at least cherish this woman because the woman loves you. You don't find a woman like that everywhere in this generation. Oh. Are you mad? He has a battle to tell me how to ruin my relationship.
out of my relationship. He said you should go. He said go. Do you want me to assist you? Okay, you don't go. Sweet daughter. Leave now! Who is your sweet? Don't go, I will spend. Go, 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 go. Go assist her now, you are watching. In fact, you don't worry. What is it? You go now, stand up. That was the height of it. Go! That was the height of it. You went too far. A staff? Someone that is under me? That is, you want to belittle my reputation? I said out. Just get out. It's not like that. It's not like that. I didn't mean it that way, please. What? Nancy, don't tell me your fears to do this to you again. What is even wrong with that myself? Why is he doing all this? I don't know. Can you believe his daughter helped him in packing my things and throwing them out of the house? <sighs> what? Did you tell his friend anything? No, Nancy. You shouldn't have. No matter the worst of this between you and your fiancé. What would you have me do? You want me to pretend like everything is fine when nothing is fine? When everything is going wrong? Really? Okay, let me tell you what happened. We went to the eatery. We are having a good time. When suddenly this girl walked in and... and my fiancé diverted his attention from me to her. And when I tried calling back his attention and telling him what he was doing was wrong, he fled up, telling, telling me how, how, how he's not married to me, telling me he's a man and he's promiscuous by nature, he can do whatever he wants, and, 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 and telling, asking me why I want to rule his life. I think that wasn't enough. He left me there and drove off. On my way back home, I decided to get a taxi when Jeff drove and saw me. Jeff stopped, asked me what happened, and offered to give me a lift. So at that point, what would you have me do? Lie to him? Of course I have to tell him everything that happened. Why is everyone blaming me? Why are you acting like I betrayed my marriage? Why even you? Nancy, I'm not seeing you as a betrayer. I'm only advising you as a friend to take care of your relationship. Sorry, if my words put you in any place, I'm okay. I'm used to it. I'm used to always being accused of, of doing the wrong thing. It's, it's what I just said. I'm sorry. Please, please. It's okay. I'm sorry. Nancy, is this how you intend to manage your relationship? 
<laughs> Girl, you are not married to this man yet. And he's suffering you like this. See, babes. <laughs> if I'm to advise you, I will tell you to leave that relationship before you die. Yo. <laughs> Stella, how can you be so self-centered? I beg. Can you put yourself in a shoe? Stella, you don't think about other people's feelings, right? So often. Nancy, for how long will you sit here? Making yourself feel so if you For how long will you sit here and give yourself heal treatment? Challenges come. They come to recreate you and strengthen you again and again. Rise up, babe. Am I a bad person? No, you are not a bad person. And you can never be. Eat your food and stop starving yourself. I'm going to the market to get some stuff. Do you think so? You think I'm not a bad person? Nancy, if you like, you eat. If you like, don't eat. You're not eating for me, oh. It's for yourself. Stella. Thank Then a baby, I love me too. If it does, he can't even then a baby, I love me too. And if I just say, Mokwesa, Mokwesa, don't allow the key. Send up with it, suck it, suck it, win up, win up, Rokoto, send up, send a kid away, 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 now look for dream, madam. The year I see somebody at the call. I'm very, very sorry, small madam. What are you trying to say? Hmm? Are you trying to say I'm now invisible? Eh? I never ever talk and say I am not invisible. Never in my life I can't talk. I'm very sorry, madam. Ah, never, 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 never. Jessica, yeah? I heard you shout from inside. What is it? It's not Amu. Can you believe I was calling this gate man? He was not listening to me. He started saying I'm invisible. That was why he didn't hear me. I don't even know why Daddy had to employ this, this, this good for nothing aboki man from the north. This, this heads, headsman or helmet from from the bush. All what he knows how to do is nothing but foolishness. Uh, uh, madam, what? if I want to insult me, waste your wait and tell her I want to insult him. Tell them, say, my mama, they can't stand up. No, it's not for me. I beg her, Papa. No. And what will you do? I mean, my father pay you very, very well to be our gate man and also run the house boy chose. And that includes the service of my sister and I. I think he has forgotten his place. Give him the money. Give him the 500 naira to go get the card. Yeah. And he has to get it. If he does not get it, then he has himself to be blamed. Go get us card. Adamo, you heard her. Take the money. He has to buy it, he has no other trade. Take! Go get me card. MTN. Go get the card now. Adamu! Adamu, take. If I go, make a motor jam. If I, if I collect some for money, if I come out, uh, make a tender pie on me. Make a tender, make a just penis up. Penis me! Poor boys, uh, you know, get sense for upstairs. And then the pia go. Look, I'll go buy a card for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. His mouth is even smelling. Huh? Eh, hey, now what day? I know they brush him. I know they ever brush him. Take a go. Oh, no, 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 no. Nonsense. The mouth is even smelling. I told you this now will not go. Don't worry. When daddy comes back, we'll table his matter before him.
Ada mu? Uga. Uga. Kau ya. How long will it take you to put the gate for me? Sorry, Uga. Do you do weed? Adamu, yeah. to you, you have opened the gate, but he really says you have not. That is how Igbo works. So, no, no. Don't keep me waiting in my own house. So, if you try that nonsense again, I will deal with you. So, no, no. Sorry for yourself. Okay, don't finish. Okay. I don't know how to talk with this spirit. Let's go. Let's go. His head. Is, this guy is not all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's a new compound.
Sweetheart, words cannot explain how sorry I am. Forgive me. Please, 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 don't go. Just get off. Maybe it's okay. Don't, don't say much. I hold no grudge against you. You know I can never hate you even if I try to. I love you. You are my friend. My lover. You're my best friend. I know after that is so bad. I know I don't have sense. Now I have sense. No. I am ready to make it work now, baby. It's okay. Don't say more. Against you. It's fish. Don't say more. I love you. Good in blue. I can always tell you that. And today the perfect match. Nancy, after all this guy I've done to you. Mr. Sweet, in the name of God, please take care of your woman. Love her the way you love your children. For God's sake, she is someone's daughter too. She is not your slave. Uh, 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 no, it's okay, it's okay. Bella, thank you for taking care of my wife. So, sweetheart, before I forget, I have a gift for you. Okay. Nancy. It's all yours. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god! I even bought her a gift. We had a pleasure about day. But something was not right. No matter how I try to get close to her, the more difficult it becomes for me. I am off to work. From there, I should be going to pick my younger sister from the airport. So just make sure you take care of the kids. Bye.
minutes. I'm almost there. In the next 10 to 30 minutes, I should be there. Okay, dear. See you later, then. Okay. Mr. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Who is the hurry to go pick like this? <laughs> Tafia. <laughs> <laughs> so while I was on call, you paid attention to my call. Just <laughs> to well, she's my younger sister. She just arrived in Nigeria today. Mr. Sweet. You have a younger sister. You never mentioned it. Ah, hey, hey, this is not fair. Eh, eh. So that you can spoil her. <laughs> no, Bonka, no, no, no. I no. don't want to see you close to my younger sister. I don't joke with her. I assume you're blind that you can't see. Okay. Every other girl go to my sister. She's my only, uh, she's my only sister. So I don't joke with her. That's Just have weather. Okay. If you say so. Uh, about the first you requested for. Okay. Oh, oh. For the contract that just yes, 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 yes. Before you said I remember now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just keep it. I'll check it up later. Eh? Right. Let's go pick my sister first. It's so what's up? You hmm? get younger sister, you know if you mention you know if you talk. Oga, Oga. Hey. This is the secretary you're talking about. Uh, let me not start suspecting you. I'm sorry. If I feel my sister is not safe with you, it's like you come down from this car. Sorry. No, 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 <laughs> so that you don't even know how to. My eyes are blinded like right now. Because now you're talking. <laughs>
delicious. You are <laughs> such a beautiful cook. <laughs> Thank you. He's <laughs> never sweet, sir. Too much my jeans. Jessica. So, Shut up. So, see, so, my jeans. Jenny. Leave it to the girl, slap your face. Hey, 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 just calm down, please. Please. Um, pass me the food. Hey, take this time. Just manage. Nancy, sit. Sit. Return that plate back. Jessica, take the plate inside. Slap your face! Are you mad? Guys, take it easy. Oh yeah, take this plate inside! No, that is I said take this plate out of this place! Do, do. Um, you should give some more the food I know. You carry your own plate. Jessica, come back here. Take this plate inside. That is she's a she's she, she's a stranger. Every time Are you okay? Hello? Who is this, please? Oh, you! <laughs> you know, you really shocked me, and up to this moment, I'm amazed by how smartly you folded a sheet of paper containing your phone number and put in my bag, irrespective of my brother's security satellite hovering all over. <laughs> all right, you know, it's really late, and I gotta sleep. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, you too. Good night. Why do you always feel insecure? Really? Yes! See, are you seeing? I'm insecure. Listen, if you cannot handle this your insecurity, I advise you to deal with it. Now let me remind you, I am your lord and your master. So it is whatever that I want you give to me. Should I go down on my knees and beg you to give me what is between your legs? Is this gold that I have to dig? Of course not! It is my right! And I deserve it. Allow me to have peace. If you can't give me what I want. Don't bring out the devil in me this night, I beg of you. Because you won't like me.
breakfast already? Of course I can. Uh, your brother will need to eat and I'm sure you need some too. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. Um, what about the kids? They should be helping you out in the kitchen, don't you think? They should be in bed, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, in bed. Don't, don't tell me you've been doing this all alone. Yes, I have been doing this all alone. And I'm not complaining besides uh, my responsibility. Mm -mm. That is highly inappropriate, okay? Just give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Um, about your meal, do you want it pepper-free, like not sassy? Okay. I think I'm gonna try the pepper. All I right. need it spicy. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I have to ask. <laughs> And, and breakfast is almost set, okay? I'll, I'll just check it and, and serve you all, uh, immediately. Alright. By this time, serve the breakfast is almost set. Hello, Grandma. Are you going to eat food fast? Jessica! Hmm? <coughs> Let's put this in the video. <coughs> now I'm still feeling sleepy, yo. Me too, I'm feeling sleepy. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Uh, what's up? Can I join you? Sure, why not? Come sit. I I thought you've gone out. Oh no. I'll do that later. Okay. But first, I need to talk to you, Nancy. Yeah. Hope all is well. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> all is well, Nancy. Nancy. Are you enjoying your relationship with my brother? Yes! <laughs> of course, yes. Yes, I'm enjoying my relationship with your brother. I mean, you know, your brother is a generous person, is, is a sweetheart. Do he, he has this um, little, of course, everyone does, but, well, <laughs> I understand. You know, no one is perfect. <laughs> Nancy, I am not a child. And ever since I stepped foot in this house, I realized you're not happy with yourself. What is going on? Talk to me, Nancy. Adamu! 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 Are you there? Come. Sorry, Adamu. Please, no. Take this. Go buy me some fruits. I need some pineapples, apples, oranges, watermelons, cucumber, and I just need to make some smoothies. Okay. Look at where I am. Pineapple, mango, cucumber, tin tomato, pineapple. Mama? No! I didn't say tin tomatoes, I said oranges, cucumber, pineapple, apple, and uh, don't forget banana. Please, just
What is this? How dare you? Yeah? Just know he has a dog. I didn't know aware he has a fiancé that lives with him most like not. What? How dare you? Oh, 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 oh. Nancy! Please. Respect yourself! Respect? Hey! You! Nancy! This is what? Nancy, what? This is what? I mean, you respect yourself! Really? 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 What are from this thing? I mean, I'm not you today. Come out! I you want to display your, your madness in the presence of my visitor? Yes, what is your problem? To bring a girl to this house. Really? really? What? I will kill her and kill you. Today. I know you are mad. I will kill you. Ha! Now, do not let it. You've been going through all of this in the hands of my brother and, and you chose to keep quiet about this. What would you have me do? Tell me, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to scream? Complain to someone? Who do I talk to? Who do I complain to? See, you know I love your brother so much and I have this in mind. Something tells me that he's going to change. I believe, I believe he's going to change. Nancy. You don't know what is perfect. See, it's okay. It's okay. Come on, cheer up. I'm, I'm okay. You sir. know what? The moment he comes home, I am going to have a talk with my brother. Okay? I like your outfit. It's, it's it beautiful. <laughs> okay. So. Not for a beautiful lady like you. I said I'm okay, or do you want to force words from my mouth? Oh yes, I want to force words from your mouth. Because I'm certain there is something you are hiding. Really? Mm-hmm. Nancy, sometimes I wonder how you present people's talk. My sister! My sister! Uh-huh. Bella, do you know her? Tell me more about her. I mean, do you really know her? 
ask her where she went to when she disappeared for nine months, almost one year. Oh, like you said, ask her why she has been taking my fiance to different places. What? Yes. Speak up. Zara, is she saying the truth? <laughs> Speak up now. You want to penetrate what I have suffered for for years to achieve as a man. It won't work. This thing don't freak me. It doesn't move me. If you don't terminate the pregnancy, I'll kill you. I mean it. You should go for a better pattern, a better format. Not this. I won't fall for this. For your information, all our conversation here have been recorded and I just sent it to my lawyer. If anything happens to me, you have yourself to blame. Rubbish. Mind you, you have less than 48 hours to sign this document else to hear from my lawyer. I'll kill you before the 48 hours. What nonsense. This is what she enjoyed and also enjoyed it. She didn't play safe and the blame is on me. Ha!
knows I'm saying the truth. She has a child. What? Mm -hmm. Tell her how you lied to us that you were going for a picnic. <laughs> that was a cover up for the pregnancy. She was hiding the pregnancy. Zara! What? What is it? What? Why are you screaming my name? Why are you making it feel as if I committed more than? Or am I the only girl in the whole world that has ever slept with his best friend's fiancé? No. Zara! Oh my oh. god, why are you so wicked? <laughs> Now, you don't get something very important that I want to tell her. Very, very important, madam. What is it? See, madam, you don't say if I know the house anytime, no day. Madam, uh, he's still on my brain. And the police come to us and no guy did it. Been trying to reach him since morning, but his line is not connecting. It's connecting now. Hello? Yeah, how far now? How far? Come and meet me in the bar now. Listen, Eric. You know I don't like embarrassment. I won't want to come there and meet uh, Mr. Sweet. I don't want that. I want to avoid that confrontation. I don't want it. I have things to sort out, I beg. I'm not with Mr. Sweet. I'm sitting here alone. I left him at the office now, so... Okay. I'm coming. Okay. And what did he say? He's not coming. What? He'll join us soon. <laughs> so what's up now? <laughs> you never agree you have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking, talking about. Fresh boy like you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am so sorry. I know I have wronged you in ways and in action. I wish I can take back my words. Please, forgive me. Listen, I don't want you to say anything. Just forgive me. At least, you have your job back. And our friendship is still intact. That's what matters. Please. Come now, come and take your favorite beer. <laughs> He will never say no to a beer. Nah, <laughs> so, so, I miss you, bro.
Stella, why? How can you be sleeping with your best friend fiance? And yet, you are advising her wrongly. Nancy, please. Stella. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, please forgive me. I didn't intend to fall for it, but it just happened. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Stella, no wonder. You've been objecting everything that has to do with Nancy and her fiance. Stella, tell me. What do you stand to gain? The same thing you stand to gain. Yes! Nancy, what are you talking about? The lie here took a picture of Jeff and I when we went to the hospital to pay a harmless visit to a friend and sent it to my fiance. Hi. Oh, How are you? I'm fine. I know you were not expecting me yet. I would really love to have a word with you. Okay. No, impossible. I can't betray my friend for anything. No. Just think of what 250,000 naira would do for you. It will go a long way. You're not betraying your friend, okay? I'm doing this to protect my relationship. For safety purposes. Please, I won't tell her. You did all that to get married? Yes, I did. I still have this flash, the signs of what happened to me when I was growing up. On that fateful day, it was a black Thursday. Coming home with my younger sister. Only to see another man on their matrimonial bed, having sex with my father's wife. Which man will fold his hand to see another man bang his wife in their matrimonial bed? His wife ran to the kitchen, brought out a knife and hit his chest. That was the last day I ever saw my father. The flashes, the tears, the cry, all still ringing in my head. So what did you do? What do you expect me to do? I was a little child. I was still eight years old. I have no choice of my own. Locked up in a room, no food, no water. Locked up against my will. No one will hear me cry. I was starved. The whole world was against me. She was my stepmother and witchcraft. It's only a witch. Who will starve another woman's child? I believe being meek as a man to a woman makes you weak. 
I believe the only way to live long, to survive in a relationship is to be tough. And that is why I gave it to Adi that way. Mr. Sweet, I've heard all that you have told me. But you see, you can't live your life based on the anger, the pain and agony of the past. You have to decide to be a happy man. I know you've been through a lot, but you don't have to allow those bad experiences to define who you are. Because I know that you are a better person. You don't have to allow anger to take the better part of you. You don't have to allow the insecurity to control you. Mr. Sweet, you have a good woman. And if you ask me, I think you should bring her back home. Mr. Sweet, you have to bring her back home. So how do you feel right now, Mr. Sweet? For the first time in my life, I feel relieved. For the first time, I have this confidence in me that everything will be alright in my relationship. For the first time, I have understand that every human being, irrespective of their differences, they have their flaws and their defects, we should capitalize on that. We should always see the better side of them. So, Seeing the ugly side of another woman made me hate my woman. That is what I just realized. So now, I'm brave. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Smith. 